Hey there, fellows. Welcome to a new video. And today we're gonna try something a bit wild. Now, in a previous video, we took this car and detonated a bunch of airbags and, uh, well, the car is still more or less intact. Now, another experiment involved us trying to get this engine to thaw, I guess? But even after going through that, it still starts and runs. Hey, no use scrapping a car with a working engine. We gotta find some way to end it. Make sure it never starts again. And so here's what we'll be doing in this one, by popular demand. Right here we've got a few small firecrackers, which we'd like to try and insert into a cylinder and screw the plug back in. Then again, do we even want to screw the plug back in? Anyway, we'll be giving this a try, though we have no idea how to go about it. The spark plug tubes on this are deep, not to mention they're a bit slanted, but oh well. Them being at an angle is gonna complicate this. Anyway, before we begin sticking the firecrackers in, take a look at this. We received a bunch of requests, and yes, we do realize that this isn't very safe, but an experiment's an experiment. So the idea is to start the motor and put some gunpowder into the intake manifold while it's running. We want it to find its way into the combustion chamber, and even with it being extremely flammable, will we see any detonation in there or not? Perhaps the engine will stall and that'll be that. I mean, really, who knows what's gonna happen. But then isn't the goal of this video to find answers to all of those questions? Let's get to it. There's only one problem, how do we get it in there? Is the vacuum gonna pull it in? Of course it will. Okay then. We can't use the throttle body. Well, yeah, it's gonna have to be fully open to suck in the powder. Let's put it straight into the manifold. I agree. We should feed it straight into the manifold. Oh no, the shavings are gonna make it in. That'll break the engine. It'll seize. Okay, let's carefully sweep this away. All right, now there is going to be a vacuum leak. Will it start? What's gonna happen? Well, look at that. It runs. It sure does. But when you do this, it doesn't. That is not good. Let's try that again. Terrific! You hear that? What do you know, it's working! Holy cow! Shut it off! Did you guys hear that? After adding some powder, it went... So it is burning in the combustion chamber. Doesn't even matter that we... have fuel in there. It's still igniting. Powder oxide. No, well, it's just powder. That was cool, we need to try that again. Oh, I'm putting plenty in there. This is so much fun. Okay, switch it off, plus it dies before we get to the firecrackers. Because this engine, I mean, it's already on the verge of dying. Well, you asked for it, there you are. When I was adding the powder, the engine was making this really weird noise. I don't know. It's like it starts to whistle. And there's some sort of high-pitched crackling. I was holding the pedal in one position and the revs were going up, yeah. What's cool is that the revs were shooting up. Well, it wasn't all that dramatic, but they were going up. Awesome. This is working after all. Some of the ideas we've been throwing around are absolutely insane, in terms of what to stick in. How do you open this? Oh, for real? Oh, that's hilarious. Wait, but how is this possible? Look at that, the powder is just flying out from the exhaust pipe. But what's with the sounds and the revs going up then? Well, some of it had to have combusted. But not all of it. Whatever, let's go stuff them in as is. 
туда. Давай. Yeah, start the engine first. What are you so afraid of? Nothing is even happening. Shut it off. Why didn't it pop? It's just hanging there. We need to push it in further, with a wire or something. Why didn't it pop? I'm guessing... It went out? How does that work? I need a screwdriver. Let me give you one. Oh, what happened? You better pull it out. Yeah, it just went out. Oh, for crying out loud. You ready? We're ready. <laughs> They're not even making it inside. They're just too long. We do have it in there, but how would it explode then? Like, sort of up into the air. Let's try these, I mean, so far this has been a failure. Oh, these are much easier to open. Though I think these will also be too big. They should be even bigger. How do we even stuff these in? What were you thinking when you were buying them? Why didn't you buy grenades while you were at it? You are a psychopath. I can see it flying out. It just keeps flying out through the exhaust valves. It has no business being there. Should we put the cap on? Yeah, yeah, put it on. Wait a minute. The small one escaped, how about the big one? Did it freeze? Some excess gases have just escaped through here. Yeah, like from all around. That's gonna go out. No, it's not. Wait, it's gonna get wet. Holy cow. So there's no antifreeze left in there. Okay, that was a healthy bang. Okay, it appears the whole powder and firecracker thing is a load of BS. It's stuck. Let's put the relay back in. There we are. Light it, and there you have a quick relay removal method. What, that's it? Okay, fellas, here's what we're looking at. So when you put powder into the engine, it does make this detonating noise, but a lot of it is being expelled unburned. But at least some of it is definitely burning. You can hear a strange noise, the revs go up. You can definitely hear it detonating in there. So this does work to an extent. The firecrackers, that was just us screwing around. Now, inserting one and fitting the spark plug in time, that'd quite obviously be totally impossible. The tubes on this make even simply replacing the spark plugs a bit difficult. 
But overall, this has gone well. We started the engine, Cyril was keeping the throttle open, the engine was running, warming up, but with it being dry at a certain point, it just seized. Now, after cooling down, it is going to start again, of course. This is something we've already seen happen with a lot of engines. What's interesting is that if we were to leave it overnight and let it completely cool off, we'll have clearance, it'll start, and we can drive right until it seizes again. Obviously, if the bearings were to stick, well, that'd be the end. No questions there. And that's about it, fellows. Everything we wanted to try, we did. So watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.